Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a moment and familiarize ourselves with the Develop module in Lightroom Classic. If I'm in the Library module, I can quickly move to the Develop module either by clicking on Develop or I can tap the D key. Once I'm in the Develop module, if I want to quickly return to Grid View, I can hold down the Option key on Mac, the Alt key on Windows, and double click. Likewise, I can hold down the Option key or Alt key on Windows and double click in Grid View to return to the Develop module. Now in order to change the gray area surrounding the image, I can right click or control click on Mac in the gray area and then choose either a lighter or a darker background color. In order to decrease the amount of scrolling that you need to do, you can right click or control click in a panel header and then choose solo mode. In solo mode, only one panel can be open at a time. So when I select another panel, such as the tone curve, the basic panel will automatically collapse. If I need to view more than one panel while I'm in solo mode, I can hold down the shift key to temporarily override solo mode. When you're working with sliders, you can double click on the slider tick mark in order to reset it. Or to reset a group of sliders, you can double click on the name of the group. I'll go ahead and undo that using Command Z or the edit menu and undo reset settings. To change the order of the panels on the right hand side of the develop module, we can right click and choose to customize the develop panel. We can use the grabber handle in order to change the order and use the checkbox to hide or show individual panels. For now, I'll choose cancel, but one thing to note is if I were to click save, Lightroom Classic would display the panels in the new order as well as toggle the visibility of any checked or unchecked panels only after relaunching the application. Now to change the slider values, we can drag on the slider tick mark, but we can also hover our cursor over the numeric value and then click and drag using the scrubby sliders. We can also click in any text entry area and then use the up and down arrows in order to increase or decrease the values. If I add the shift key, they'll increase or decrease in larger amounts. Then I can tap the tab key in order to move to the next slider. Now, if I wanted finer control over the sliders, I can click on the edge of the panel and then drag in order to expand it. I can hold down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows and drag even further than the default setting. For now, I'll go ahead and set that back. Now, all of the editing panels display a small icon on the left side of the panel header. When the eye is dim, it means that there haven't been any changes made to that panel. When the eye is lit, we can click and hold to preview the changes that have been made in that panel. The Remove tool, as well as the Red Eye tool, also have a preview icon. However, the icon is displayed at the bottom left of the Tools panel. On the Masking panel, the preview icon is at the upper left of the panel. Now tapping I will cycle through the information overlay. If you want to customize that information overlay, you can use the view menu and choose view options. Here we can change the information that is displayed for both info one and info two. Now there are two unique zoom shortcuts specific to the develop module. If I hold the shift key, I can drag to the left in order to zoom out or I can drag to the right in order to zoom in to the image. If I hold down the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows, I can drag a rectangle around the area that I want to zoom into. This will become the new default zoom, so for now I'll click the 100% in order to return to the default. On the left side there are a number of different panels, including the Collections panel. If I ever need to change collections, instead of returning to the library module, I can simply select a collection here. Finally, if you want to quickly reset the settings that you've applied to an image, you can use the Settings menu and choose Reset All Settings or use the keyboard shortcut Command-Shift-R on Mac, Control-Shift-R on Windows. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.